All right, guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gilbert. Today, we're going to be looking at tires. Stay tuned. All righty, and with that being said, guys, uh, we are taking a look today at none other than the infamous Falcon Wild Peak AT3W. Um, this has been an awesome selling tire, guys, over the number of years. It has been out for um, a few years now. Um, definitely a tire, though, that has still been super popular on the market and is still one of our top selling tires. Um, let's take a look and dig a little bit deeper into it, guys. Let's start by going with the center tread of it. As you can see, it is a, a very interesting uh, de tread design. Um, when you look at it, guys, uh, this is an all-terrain tire. Um, but it is actually one of the more smooth, comfortable riding tires on the market. Uh, so if you are in the market for uh, something that handles good off-road, does really well in the snow, um, but still want that smooth, comfortable ride, guys, this is one of the tires to be looking at. If we dig a little bit deeper into the center of the tire, we can take a look that it does have a continuous center rib right down at the bottom. Um, and it does have kind of like this Z-like shape going all throughout the center of the tire. When you look a little bit closer to that uh, block on top of it, it does have uh, your little two-dimensional sipes here, um, right here on this part of the block, down here, and down here as well. Uh, you can take a look at the outside block as well. Again, it does have the siping on the block itself. Um, with this being so centered and so close together, guys, uh, this is what pretty much marks up a lot of your road noise if it's closer or um, farther apart. Uh, with this guy being a little bit closer together in the center, it does make for a smooth and comfortable ride. If we do take a little bit closer look, guys, I don't know if the camera's gonna catch this, but we're gonna try. You can see it does have uh, a lot of biting edges in here, almost step-like features. Uh, it does have it down there as well, and even down here on this shoulder block. Um, so as you can see, uh, down there, there is a lot of good technology that Falcon did put into this tire to help keep, uh, you know, everything out of the channel of the tire, main contact with the road, guys, because ultimately that's what we want our tires to do is main contact with the road. Moving along a little bit closer, guys, uh, if we are looking at these shoulder blocks right here, we can see this guy does have a more like a three-dimensional zigzag uh, siping right here on this block. Uh, which is cut down a little bit differently than, say, the uh, two-dimensional site you can see over here. Again, that uh, is to gain the most traction possible. Make sure that you do keep that contact with the road, guys, uh, in rainy conditions, icy conditions, and slushy conditions. Um, when that tire is flexing, it does help um, evacuate that out of the channels of your tire. Um, just, again, main contact with the road, guys. If we do look a little bit closer into the sidewall of this guy, guys, you can see it does have a, a very good uh, distinct sidewall um, if you take a look at it. Uh, let's dig a little bit closer into the side blocks though. Um, so as you can see, it does have uh, these raised edges, biting edges guys right here. Um, so very interesting on what Falcon did with these guys. If you look at them, they're a little bit offset, um, you know, compared to each shoulder block. So each one does go out a little bit different. It goes out, you know, then in, then out, then in. Uh, again, so it helps change direction there. So that way it does uh, maintain traction when you're going through uh, sticks, debris, mud, all that good stuff, guys. Looking at the actual side biters, guys, this one does have an interesting look to it. Um, I call this like the halfway H. You have your leg here, the long leg. You have your crossbar right here, and then you have like a half leg right here, and it kind of cuts down right here, as you can see. And it does that throughout the whole uh, sidewall of the tire, guys. Um, so kind of an interesting one that they did with this guy, So, but very cool tire. Um, this guy is only a two-ply reinforced uh, sidewall. It is not a full three-ply sidewall, guys. Um, so a little bit of a downfall there. Uh, they did that, though, to soften up the compound a little bit. Because uh, one thing that this tire does so well, again, that I mentioned, is it is a great in the snow. Um, any temperatures that drop below 45 degrees, it does have the snowflake uh, three peak mountain flake rating on it, meaning that its rubber compound does stay soft and pliable and continues to perform in those icy and snowy conditions. We can see that along right here. Let's see, where is it? Oh, there it is. Falcon does put it right there, guys, so you can see it. 
Um, again, this has uh, been an awesome popular seller, guys. Uh, size I have in front of me is an LT265 75R16. It's going to go on a lot of your uh, half ton pickups, your three quarter ton pickups, but even some of your smaller pickups, you know, the uh, the midsize trucks, all the uh, the little Toyota Tacomas, um, Nissan Frontiers, uh, little vehicles like that. Um, so definitely been a great selling tire, guys. If you are in the market for some tires, this one does come highly recommended. Uh, my name is Gilbert, guys. If you have any other questions, uh, leave a comment. If there's something I didn't go over on this tire that you know about this tire that I don't, uh, hit that like button and smash that subscribe button, guys, please. It does help with the content, guys. Uh, and ring that little bell so that way when I do put up new content, guys, you'll see it. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.